Welcome to Bias Bash. I'm Lauren Green. The potential breakthrough in talks over Iran's nuclear program caused the media to either slam the slow progress in negotiation or praise the White House's actions. Well, joining us with the reaction is Pulitzer Prize winning investigative reporter and author and Fox News contributor Judy Miller. Welcome, Judy. Hi. So how do the networks do in, in, in their coverage, or all the news outlets do in their coverage? Well, I think they did pretty well mm -hmm. in that this is a very complicated agreement. And what they had to do is explain to the American people that there is an agreement, but it's not really an agreement because none of the, right. the dots are, are... It's a deal before the deal. Exactly. And I think that it, given the complexity of what has been agreed to in principle, the networks did pretty well. And look... We have such a partisan and polarized society that you can just automatically assume that half of the republic is going to hate it and the other half is going to embrace it, and that may have almost nothing to do with the agreement. I think that the reaction within the arms control community, which we're just beginning to get now, mm -hmm. is that most analysts are really pleasantly surprised by what they have seen so far of this agreement. And what most are saying is, of course, everything depends on the fine print mm -hmm. of an agreement which hasn't been agreed to yet. So while many are reserving judgment, the initial reaction of the arms control experts mm -hmm. seems to be positive. What, in your opinion, were the more slanted news stories about the um, I don't deal? really think that we've, we've had a chance to see. I, I think that, you know, what you can do is you expect the press to cover what Jeb Bush says. And Jeb Bush almost immediately said that he didn't oppose the agreement. He did not like it. Okay. And the press immediately pointed out that Corker's amendment in the Congress will go forward. That is the amendment that tries to give Congress uh, review, oversight of mm -hmm. this agreement. I think most objective analysts pointed out that since President Obama has vowed to veto that should it pass, mm -hmm. uh, it is, its prospects are unlikely, are unsure, and probably I would say it's not likely that it will, will pass. I don't think they can get two-thirds majority. I don't think that enough Democrats will desert the president on this one. To, uh, to make that a, a So ultimately, possible. there's no deal? There is a deal? What do you think? I think we're not going to really know until the, June, until we see the fine print, because the fine print here is so critical. The fine print involves all important access and verification. We know that we're dealing with Iran that has cheated repeatedly on agreements. We also know that Iran has a lot at stake. It needs these sanctions lifted. And this does, this agreement does provide for a lifting of some of the most mm -hmm. onerous sanctions as soon as the, it can be verified that the Iranians are playing ball and doing what they said they were going to do. Now, once again, the devil's right, in the details. Trust. What it's does about, that mean? Right, exactly. It, it can't be about trust. It has to be about verification. And that's okay. what this agreement's going to come down to. I think right now, most fair-minded people who look at what the administration was able to get, mm -hmm will say that they got a lot more than we anticipated. They surely got a lot more than I anticipated. One of the most important things is that the plutonium facility, which could make a plutonium nuclear weapon, has been, is going to be turned into a research and development uh, institution. Now, here, a center. How do we know that they're doing that? Once again, it comes back to verification. We're not going to know that until June. Wow. So a kind of tentative, positive reception for an agreement that's bound to be polarizing and very politicized. But I think the devil's in the details. We have to wait and see all of those other cliches. But in this instance, you have to say the administration got more than I thought they were going to. All right. I thank you very much, Judy Miller. Thank and you. We, and we'll have you back on to talk about the next few weeks. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye. And thanks for watching.